Hi everyone, Liz here, thanks for stopping by. So, remember this one? Um, yeah, I started earlier in the year. Um, it's a picture from Diamond Art Studio UK Limited and it's a large square painting. I think it might be 60 by 60, I'm not quite sure. Um, and yeah, it came just the canvas only. They had an overstock of canvases without any gems. And I thought, well, I've got quite a few spare square gems because this is square. And uh, yeah, I thought, well, I'll get the canvas and then I'll have a go at doing um, the canvas and matching up what uh, gems I needed. So I've kitted up ones that I actually needed here. And obviously there was some that I didn't have. I've been very lucky that uh, some people have sent me um, some gems already. So there was still quite a few that I still needed. And the lovely Amy has sorted out um, some gems for me and sent me them as happy mail. So huge thank you, Amy. It's very, very kind of you. Um, yeah, I, you know, it's lovely of every people to think of me and help me with this little project. So we'll have a look and see which ones we've got. Um, I've just opened the packet uh, so that it saves me fighting with my scissors and everything. Um, and I thought I would just have a look and see. I haven't looked at anything else in here. Oh, okay, so what have we got here? Oh, I've got a Christmas card. The first Christmas card of this year. So I will put that away for now. Or shall I open it? I'll think about it. I'll wait till the end. I've got all my lovely drills. Look in here. Okay. And I've got a card as well. So let's have a look at this one. Oh, look at that washi tape. That's right up my street. Look at all those little bees and ladybirds and dragonflies. And oh, they're all being a bit rude. That one's got his tongue stuck out. Look. <laughs> oh, I love the bees. Look. Oh, that's lovely. Okay, so let's have a look in here. Oh, it's a diamond painted card. Oh, look at that. That's wonderful. Look at those colours. That is so pretty. All those flowers and then the lovely yellow stripes. And the thank you and even the lettering look has come out really, really well. That's brilliant. Thank you ever so much, Jamie. Let me have a look at what she's said. Okay, it says, to Liz, thank you for all the videos. Me and my son love them. He loves the Millie ones best and I love them all. Oh, Amy and David. So, hello, David. Uh, I'm pleased that you like Millie. Um, she will be uh, featuring on quite a few more videos, fingers crossed, because I've got a little chair sat next to uh, my desk now. So, she can actually sit up on the chair and watch what I'm doing rather than nattering me while she's on the floor. So, but this is lovely. So, thank you ever so much. Oh, that's wonderful. Okay, so that will go on my notice board. I keep all the cards and everything that I get. Um, and put them on my notice board so they make me smile thank you so much right so we have lots of gems to put away and uh, amy thinks she's now sent me enough so that i've got enough to do the canvas in which case then i will have to start getting it done won't i but i think it's going to be after christmas now because uh, yeah i've got so many christmas ones to do i've got a christmas card looking at me as well i usually actually get um the one from australia from my niece in australia first so thank you amy you've won and got the first christmas card to me so we've got nine eight six seven oh two uh, nine three six wow that's like um that's been really packed in. Goodness me, thank you ever so much. 580. So I'll put them in uh, sort of numberish order. Uh, 703. Yeah, they were definitely ones that I needed. And 905. You'd like taking the air out of these. I don't know how you've done that. You must have really, really squidged them up. Stronger than me. <laughs> and then an eight. Okay. So we've got another little note here as well. Let me just have a look. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, this is going to be handy. Right. Okay. So I'll put this in the comments down below as well. So Liz, way I worked out grams, um, I have scales, drills to grams, drill amount divided by 200 amount of 200 bags, amount of bags, 1.2 grams equals 200 drills. Okay. And then she does it the other way around to find out what she needs. So if you want to 580 and you need 1400, then uh, yeah, she's worked it all out for me. 
Oh, wow. OK, so if the little packets um, are roughly 200, I think it could have been Amy, actually, that sat and counted them all and said there was about 280 in some of them. Uh, but yes, yeah, so 200 drills is 1.2 grams. So if you're wanting to work out how many drills you need, then you can work it out there. Oh, that's brilliant. Thank you ever so much. I'm sure other people have found that handy as well. Excellent. Thank you. OK, so right. Uh, 580 we definitely needed. Let me grab a tray because you know what I'm like. Spilly Liz, so 580. Come in, 580. Where are you? Where are you? Uh, 415, 550, 580. So look, I've only got a few. And uh, yeah, they're practically the same colour as well. The thing is, when you're actually doing your diamond paintings, and particularly if you're making up from spare drills, you will find that you get different colours um, in, in different dye lots. And sometimes the colours aren't quite the same. But obviously, if you're doing something like this, you can pick out what you need. Um, you know, and possibly you can get away with it if the colour's not quite the same, if the gems aren't sort of together, as it were, or if you're doing a leaf or something, then it is going to be variegated anyway. So let's see if we can get all of these in here. And hopefully they are going in. Yes, thank you very much. OK, so I worked out there's about... For, well, there will be about 1,600 in one of these little um, bottles with the screw tops, these little pots. Uh, possibly more because these are your um, squares. My brain went then. That's not good, is it? So, yeah, they do. <laughs> it's alive. They do say you get about 2,000 in these. I've never managed to fit 2,000 in, but anyway. So it just gives you sort of a rough indication. So that's 580. So let me tick that one off on my list. So I've kept this list in here. So I know what I needed and I know what I've got. Okay. So we've definitely got those now. Um, oh, we still need a 701. Did I get any 701s? No, I still need 701, so I still do need one number. Uh, 702, yeah. Again, look, you can see in there, there are slightly different colours in there. It's a bit like, you know, when you're doing your wallpaper, and sorry, I know if you've heard this before, sorry. Um, but yeah, you need to match up the numbers on the wallpaper so that you get all the print runs so that all the colours are the same. It's a little bit like that with your diamond painting. Let me put this the other way around so it goes a bit more flat. And I'm going to need, um, possibly, what ones have I got here? Yeah, it's 9 oh. I've definitely got all the blacks that I need. 986, all oh, right, okay. Just uh, have a look at these bags that I've got here that are extras, because they wouldn't fit into the pots and the ones that I needed a lot of. So rather than doing more than one pot, I'm just keeping the little bags with them on. So this is a 702. I'll get as many in here as I possibly can. Tap it down a little bit. Put a few more in. OK. So make sure I've sealed that and give it a squidge. So I don't think I can get the air out quite like Amy did. That was wonderful. Getting all that air out of there. <laughs> Like vacuum sealed. Well done. That's really good. Okay. So just pop that in there. So that's 702. So that's 905 there. Look, and that's 890 there. So I can put those bags together. Okay, just pop those out the way. So I would say now we have definitely got enough 702s. Okay, and 703. Now then I needed 14,703. So possibly I've got enough, possibly I haven't. Um, oh, that's a very different colour. I've maybe got muddled up, so let me have a look at my key code. This is an art dot. Um, Sorry, it's in crinkly plastic. I do apologise. An art dot chart. And it actually puts all your colours in DMC 
uh, sorry in color order uh, it does have the dmc codes on the back in number order but you've actually got them all in color families here so if you're looking to maybe substitute out a color that you've got a lot of and one that you haven't got then you can look to see which is the nearest color and maybe use that instead so i'm just going to have a look at 702 there yeah um oh i don't know now that looks a little bit different color doesn't it but i don't know what other color it would look like okay as i say you do i mean that is a very very bright green and that is a very very dark green so i'll keep mine i'm going to keep mine in the pot and i'll keep those separate and we'll see where they are on the canvas uh, when i get to do them okay handy to have these i think this came from you can get it direct from art dot but i think this one came from amazon uh, but yeah it's handy uh, if you're wanting to know what your colors are and rather than having to look through all of your colors um in your your spares this is actually all in color order so you can just go and look at all your pinks all your purples and your greens and everything um so that you know it just makes it a little bit easier yeah okay i got that actually for when i was color matching gems originally and then i just thought oh my goodness uh, no life's too short to be trying to color match particularly as i say when you do get the different dye lots so yeah <laughs> So I'm going to keep those separate for now um, and we'll see where we are. Seven, so we'll keep 703. We've got 702 because they were all fit in one pot. So that's okay. That's those. And then 890. Looks like we've got um, 890, 890, 890 is there. We've already got a full pot there. So I'm going to see if I can get these bags in, uh, these in here with this one. So we've only got the one spare bag. So yeah, huge thank you to everybody that sent me the gems and uh, say particularly to Amy who sent me the short amount as well. Okay, so that's that one. I don't know how you've got those bags like that. <laughs> and then we've got 905. Again, looks slightly different colours, but there are lots of different colours in there. So 905 is a full pot, and I just need to pop those in there with those. Okay, so it might be quite a while before I actually get round to doing this one. It will definitely be next year, and then we've got... Uh, 986 and 936 so 936 936 yep you see that is practically the same color so it just depends on your dye lots as i say right so we've definitely got enough now because this will be more than a pot full and we needed 2000 of them oops oh liz oh just put them in the tray it's probably easier just put them in the tray Throw them all over the desk. <laughs> oh dear, it wouldn't be a Liz uh, video without something spilling everywhere or something going wrong, would it? Right, so that's as full as I'm going to make that. So just put those there. Oh, there's a little brown one just got in there. Look, let's get that little brown one out. So take you off and go with your friends. <laughs> All right, so let's just pop these back in this little bag. So when I actually get nearer to working on this canvas, I will quite possibly, um, I will quite possibly put these into the little pots and uh, rearrange it a little bit. But at the moment, I'm just going to leave these in the little bags. So we've got them. It's certainly an awful lot of green shading. Uh, and to be honest, if the shades are slightly different, you're not going to tell because there is just so much green on it. And then 986. So 966, 986. Okay. And again, they're practically the same colour. So yeah, it just depends. Okay, so, oh, but I'm exceptionally grateful. So thank you very much.
and that is those so just a quick little video uh, showing you what i've got and as i said that is a, an exceptionally uh, handy little way of working out how many gems you've got and how many you need so that's wonderful okay put those back in there like that and i'll keep that safe i will put my little card on uh, my notice board So, yeah, it's just a 701 that I need uh, 3,000 of now. I probably need some more 703s as well, but we can do those as we go along. I could even substitute it out for a different colour. I am going to open up my Christmas card because, well, we're in November and I am thinking about putting my Christmas stuff up. So I am going to open this one now, my first Christmas card of the year. Yay! Let the excitement begin. <laughs> Oh, wow, look at that. Oh, I've not seen that one. Oh, that's fabulous. Look, and we've got some uh, AB coated, uh, iridescent coated gems on this one as well. And some large red. Oh, he's fabulous. Wow, I love that. Look at the colours on him. Oh, he's wonderful. He's definitely going to go up now. Yay. Oh, that's lovely. Thank you ever so much, Amy. And uh, yeah, Merry Christmas to you as well. Look at this. We've got a lovely thank you card. Oh, are you tired? She's had a bath this morning, so she's very tired. And look, really, we've got our first Christmas card. Say, yay! Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Oh, are you having a yawn? Oh, dear. It's a hard life being a Scotty. You'll get settled then. <laughs> Okay, well, huge thank you, Amy and uh, little David, for sending me these. It's wonderful of you. Uh, Millie sends her woof as well. <laughs> if you've enjoyed uh, this little chat and these little, uh, well, this quick sort of adding to my kitting up, then a thumbs up is always very much appreciated. Any comments or questions in the comments down below, I'll get back to you. And if you want to come back and see what I get up to next, then if you press that subscribe button down in this corner and the all notifications bell that pops up, you'll be notified when any of my videos come up. So you're not going to miss anything. Yay! Okay, thanks ever so much for stopping by and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.